everyone, Jimmy here. I'm back. It's been quite a while since I did my last review. And with that, welcome back to my channel. Yay! I miss you guys so much. Hope you guys miss me too. Yeah, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been away from vlogging since I've been quite uh, busy with my work and I did mention from my last video that I have a daughter and uh, she's now one year old. Time is really fast indeed. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get back uh, to what's up for today. Uh, I came across with this uh, game uh, device or gadget. Uh, lately, uh, I've been watching the YouTube, let's say, the Pandora. S or Pandora RS something that version the one with the two joystick that could play retro games the arcade the Famicom family computer those and it caught my attention so I was about to buy and then when I check from the sh online shop the price is very expensive uh, it's around 4,000 pesos to 6,000 no to 7,000 pesos uh, not the shipping is not included with the big box and since I'm high budget I decided to look for a cheaper version and then it caught my attention that there's a smaller device that could play retro games from family computer until PS1. Uh, Nintendo 64 is not included so but uh, let's say they have the Super Nintendo, uh, what is it? The N64, yeah. Now, uh, with this one, is included the Nintendo 64. No, not Nintendo 64. It's Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom, the Sega Genesis, the Atari, and they have, I think they have the Game Boy, the Advanced Color. Yeah. And with that, I will introduce to you uh, the 2.4 wireless uh, game stick. This is the game stick 4K Lite version that could play uh, more than 10,000 games since I got this. Uh, 64 gig which contain more than 10,000 games good thing with the, uh, the seller I asked him if he could before I purchase I asked him if he could send me the list of the game and good thing he did send to me and I checked all the lists and uh, not all list all the gaming list and the title and somehow it caught uh, it, those are really uh, nice and I want to play since since I was child I always play the family computer the Super Nintendo so some games I wasn't on a tight budget as you say I asked for my dad for buy me those games. <laughs> so that at that time games are not uh, really cheap, they are very pricey and so we cannot buy all the games. So at least now uh, technology are really incredible. Imagine uh, as a small device they could uh, as, as how you say install 10,000 games inside. So I'm really quite excited for this one. So guys, let's check it out. So what we have here, this is the box front. Uh, it says 2.4, I don't know what's G, 2.4 wireless controller gamepad. Uh, yeah, professional game chip, you can see connectivity is plug and play. Classic games, yeah. The sides, 2.4 G wireless controller gamepad, box. Let's see it here. here. So let's try it on bucket and let's check. So the first thing is the this is the game stick. Yeah. Game stick. That, if you can see clearly. Yeah, this is the HDMI. And here this is the how you say it, the USB receiver. And here this is the how you say it, you can see clearly, this is the SD card. And this is the USB receiver. Let's check what's inside. Okay, there's two, uh, let's say, look alike uh, PS2 controller. And you need battery. I think this is, yeah. You need, you need AAA. Yeah, AAA. Two AAA. Battery is not included. It's all separate. Okay. So battery is not included for this game, uh, this controller. Anyway, let's try it. Let's see it here. So far, the quality is not that bad yeah. compared to the original. <laughs> anyway, we will try to play this one later. So let's check later. We'll see how the remote works. And then we have a manual. Yeah, there's in English and in Chinese. So anyway, and this is the cable, the USB cable. 
adapter is not included. Let's see clear. Sorry for the background. We have the crazy neighbor dog. <laughs> and this one is the HDMI ex extension. Yeah, it's with the protector. So okay, it is a, so let's try it and let's see how this works. Okay, let's go. So we're about to set up. So this is the how you say game stick. So I would suggest that you use the extension, the HDMI extension. You plug it in and then put how you, if you can see clearly the USB receiver. Put it here. So we're almost done and then the power and so since this power adapter is not included I just use my own adapter and by the way since this one is already ready and I noticed that uh, even a simple dangle could easily heat up so to protect how is it the game stick I put a fan beside so it won't get hot since I have one of the let's say Xiaomi the dangle uh, notice it's if you let's say watching a one hour or two hours it get hot so I put a fan beside it just to protect so we have the game list here so first is oh normally it's not normally they mostly got the king of fighter so yeah fighters <laughs> So just press, scroll down for the other kings of the King of Fighters 2002 and they have quite a lot of King of Fighters version. I think they almost got the complete version. And this is the I think SNK vs Capcom. <laughs> you see the title, the Super Comics Hero. And then it's a Marvel superhero. <laughs> and what else? Uh, Street Fighter 2 Alpha. They did not indicate Alpha. They just indicate Street Fighter 2. So you have to check from the side for the picture. What is this? This Magic Lands, Magic Land Room. And then it's what? Kabuli Clash, <laughs> Poker Fighter, and it's Gem Fighter, Samurai Samurai Showdown 3. Yeah, it's correct. Super Comics Hero vs Street Fighter that's a Marvel Superhero vs Street Fighter so if you want to move from the list you can see the class I think it should be the category you move the R1 and you can see this is the first the arcade Famicom a family computer Game Boy Mega Drive that's Sega Genesis uh, Game Boy Color Game Boy Advance the Super Famicom PS1 and the Atari and then you move the R1 again. This is the history. Those the games I think you played and then collect. And then you may search the title. So let's say I select, let's check EAT. Let's say I want to search Batman game. So I type Batman. Then you can see the site. There are a lot of titles. Batman. It even did have Chinese version. What is Blasting Batman? Batman Return. Clown Return, I think that's Joker Return, <laughs> and then Batman Animation Series, Batman, yeah, so let's try it, uh, yeah, let's try. oh, you can see which belong is the category, so this one, Batman the Clown Returns, you may see it's a Game Boy, for the Batman Return, FC is the Famicom, uh, that's Family Computer, uh, sorry, Famicom, Family Computer, yeah, let me, let's check, it's <laughs> By the way, before I uh, test a couple of games, you press the select and the start button. You could go to a settings that could change the language. If you press A, that's okay. So you can see it here is the simplified, the traditional Chinese, English, Japanese, Korean, I don't know, don't know Italian, Espanol. Anyway, just back press B for back. And then the ketone setting, you can hear the this is the sound. Two. Oh, this is the sound for three. Sound three. Sound four. Sound five. If you want to mute, you know, sound, I, I choose sound one. Yeah. So you can view the local files, the factory settings, system information, what version of this, the firmware version. And exit. Let's try uh, the summary showdown. 
So we're here. So this is the arcade version. So in order to play, you have to uh, press the select. It's like they in input a coin. <laughs> Insert a coin. Another one, another one. <laughs> so if you can see the credits here below, I think it's already they got six tokens. Press another one, seven. So once you want to play, you press start. Now let's try the family computer. So we got around, you can see the site, uh, total of 100, uh, 382 page. So imagine uh, each page, each page they have 10 games. So, so I think they got around more than 3,000 games for the family computer. It's quite a lot of title. So let's try with the Contra first. Nostalgic. <laughs> Listen to this uh, intro for the Ninja Turtle. back on the main page I forgot to mention that for the arcade game uh, it got around 127 pages so it's more than a thousand games for the arcade now let's get back for the Game Boy uh, Game Boy so for the Game Boy they got 21 page so I think it's more than uh, how many games 200 games so when you're playing uh, Game Boy, so ex expect that it's black and white. <laughs> yeah. Now let's try the Game Boy Advance. So for the Game Boy Advance, uh, we have 100 uh, 14 pages uh, per again uh, per page is around uh, less than around it's 10 games so it's around 1100 games you can see the title here I noticed that under the Game Boy Advance they got a lot of anime uh, and mostly are in Chinese version but some games you can just change the settings change to English it depends on the game 
you can see this here is narrated that are in Chinese. Yes. Medal of Honor here you can see English uh, and then another I think it's France and then that's um, uh, Mandarin. So you can just change it to English version so it's easier. The music are a bit, uh, it's a little bit choppy, but so far so great. Now we'll try the Game Boy Color. Total of 17 page, so guess it's around 170 games. Let's try the Mega Drive, the Sega Genesis. So we have this around uh, 39 pips, so it's around 390 games for the Sega Genesis. Now let's try the Super Famicom. So we have 350 page, so it's around 3,500 games for the Super Famicom. So now we'll try the PS1. So it only got 4 pay, so it's around 40 games only. Few games for the PS1. Oh, too bad. Sleep 
for the Atari. Total of three pays only, so only 30 games. Just few for the Atari. Yes guys, so we're done with our uh, review, uh, so let's talk about the pro and cons. For the cons is that I noticed the controller is a little bit uh, difficult uh, when you're playing a fighting game, let's say with the Street Fighter or the Marvel vs. Capcom. I have a little, I have a little hard time uh, easily using the combo or the special power, so uh, that's the pro from my side. Uh, while the other game, let's say beaten up or let's say sports, uh, I don't have any issue for that. So, well, for the pros, uh, it has a lot of titles and good games. So imagine uh, 10,000 games you can play even uh, an entire week. You cannot finish playing all those <laughs> games. You get a lot of uh, great titles. So it, it, it really inspired us to play more. So we, we can finish it. <laughs> And oh, by the way, for the consoles, I forgot to tell you that the title, uh, let's say that the name, they don't have the same, and some are in uh, version, it's in Chinese or in Europe or in Japanese, so they don't have uh, the specific English. Uh, that's the bad side. And imagine before when we play our family computer, we even though we, we don't even have the subtitles can change. So nowadays, you can just. So you can finish if you don't understand that part you can just google it <laughs> so i really encourage you guys if you're really uh, into uh, retro games i really recommend you uh, buy this game too. it's cheap and it's fun and it's uh, great for you if you have a long free uh, time to play and not to waste your time not to waste your time <laughs> to play to enjoy with your family and friend i recommend this game thing especially uh it's really cheap so that's it for that's it for today uh don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification so every time i upload a new video you will get notified and don't forget to leave comment below okay guys that's it for today and see you next time bye bye